What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the effective uh, study strategies. Uh, some things that I picked up along the way of um, in my course of becoming a uh, surgeon um, and some uh, tips for you guys. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Uh, so I think it's important if you're a high school student, if you're early on in your college years, um, the strategies that you uh, use to study your, your study habits those habits that you develop are very important because over the years, you're gonna rely back on these habits, the ways that you study uh, to be successful higher in the educational uh, system that you go. So I think early on, I think it's very important to um, develop good study strategies, good habits that you can uh, rely on You know, when the classes get tougher, which they will. Um, I think it's important to stay organized um, you have to stay organized. Uh, being in the military for eight years, that was a uh, big benefit for me because um, I was very disciplined in my studies. Um, getting out of medical school at a certain time, I knew exactly when I went home, I knew exactly what I was going to try to accomplish that day because I, I wrote it down. And that's what I suggest to you guys. I, I think it's important to write things down. Uh, set goals for yourself at the end of the uh, your class or your lecture. Uh, make a little list. I need to read this chapter tonight. I need to do these questions. I need to review this textbook and you write that down and you don't go to sleep until it's done. And that's exactly what I did in medical school. And that's how I uh, came out successful um, and did really well in medical school because I set goals for myself and um, I met those goals before I went to bed. Um, at the end of the day, it gives you a sense of accomplishment also. Hey, I, um, I met my goals for the day and I did all of this. Um, and I was ready for my test and I passed my test with fine clutter, colors because of that. Uh, next, I think um, make note cards. I think note cards were very helpful for me in medical school. I still make them to this day, especially for classes like microbiology in medical school, um, infectious diseases, pharmacology, those little small details that you wanna get down, I think it's important to um, have repetition. Um, and if you see that that medication, um, furosemide, uh, if you see it you know, 10, 15 times by the test, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have some um, memory uh, recollection on, on your test and get that answer right because you, you've um, went over that, that flashcard that many times. Um, Next, I think it's important to figure out, like I said, how you study best. Uh, for me, I can't study in libraries because there's, there's no food around. I love to eat every five, 10 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. So I study best at home and by myself. Um, and I found I found out about that early on in medical school, my first year of medical school. And I, and I tried to study with some people at the library. And I said, man, this is not working. So um, find out how you study best. And some days in medical school, um, I didn't go to class for 70% of medical school and I studied on my own at home. Uh, some days I would just wake up and just lay in bed and I study in bed. So um, if that works for you, then continue doing it. If it doesn't, um, you need to stop it. So you gotta find out what works for you early on in the semester, early on in your um, kind of educational career. Um, there's a caveat to that, that each semester um, that uh, you may have to change your study strategies just a little bit to accommodate that particular class. What worked one semester may not work for the next semester. So uh, depending on the complexity of the class, uh, I would change my study strategies just a little bit uh, each semester. So you have to be able to adapt and you have to be fluid and um, your studies. Um, I think it's important to take um, adequate breaks. I would study for maybe 50 minutes and then take a 10 minute break because you have to uh, pace yourself, especially in medical school when you study for 14, 15, 16 hours a day uh, straight, and I used to do that, um, uh, you have to uh, take breaks. I remember one um, weekend I actually was studying for a test and I stayed and I studied maybe 16, 17 hours a day for the entire weekend. And when I came outside, finally came outside, I uh, actually squinted because I had been inside for the last three or four days. So uh, you have to train yourself to uh, study for the prolonged periods of time like that. And um, you know, as years go on, I, I don't study for that long as uh, anymore. But um, 
the amount of material that you have to learn um, is a lot. Uh, it's still a lot. But you have to be very effective in your studies because you have less amount of time. And as a resident, um, I study, I work about 80 to 100 hours a week and I still have to come home and study. So um, that short amount of time that I have to study has to be very effective. So um, I might get through a couple chapters um, each evening um, in just an hour or two hours when I, have, when I get off work at 7 to 8 o'clock at night. Um, you have to do that as a resident. So you have to uh, be effective in your studies. Um, I think that, like I said, I think it's important to find out how you study best. Uh, if it's if it's working for you, then stick with it. If it's not, then change it up. Use note cards. Repetition is going to be your friend. You have to repeat the material. You have to read it over and over and over again until it finally sticks sticks to you. And be organized. You know, make a list. Uh, make a, a, a list, a daily list, of this is what I need to accomplish today in my studies. And don't go to bed until it's done. Those are the things that I picked up along the way that I thought were uh, very helpful for me in my studies. And um, that's how I got to the point where I'm at today, by using um, you know a couple of those uh, study uh, tips. Uh, good luck to you guys. Study hard. It all pays off, it, off in the end. Um, I know it seems like the it's never ending, but uh, time flies by fast. And uh, sometimes when I'm in the operating room, I'm doing surgery. Uh, I actually think back to my studying days. And I'm like, man, this is uh, this is way better than being stuck in the library for 12, 14 hours a day. Uh, so it actually pays off, guys. You guys can do it. If you have any more questions, email me at overcomingtheoddsbook at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, antoniowebmd.com. See you next time.